looks like there really aren't that many espers out here, are there? I mean, all of these people have walked by. Not one of them has stood out to you. We did see the disco guy. So are the two this of you hair. on a date? Oh, well, this guy seems pretty unique. It's not not a date, right? Cool if I borrow him for a bit. Oh, this is the backstory of how he gets to Ritsu in the alleyway. Someone's fighting under my name. In another yeah. critical alleyway encounter Salt Middle School. in Japan. You might even know him. You might know him. You might be familiar with him on some level. <laughs> this is going to be insane. I feel like Mob is going to be blindsided by this. What are you doing, Ritsu? Whoops! Ritsu was riding that high of crushing Japan's middle school gangs. And then he's face to face with his shame. How does he react, I wonder? I hope this ends wholesomely. <laughs> but there's so much potential for bitterness because Ritsu simultaneously loves and resents Mob. And the love is partly what makes the resentment deeper, if that makes sense. Because really it's from this place of, of emotional dissonance where he's guilty. It cannot feel good to be jealous of a person that you love, especially someone he adores like Mob. So in that vulnerable state, being confronted by that very person, I feel like it goes one of two extremes. Either it ends with this just like outpouring and Mob sort of picks up on what he has to do and is accepting and they become like open, more open and honest about it. And that enhances the bond and sort of puts Ritsu's anxieties to rest. Or Mob once again is better than Ritsu because he's not committing these crimes. You know, it's just blow after blow. Like he already is powerless and now he's powerless and doing wrong and mob is still more powerful and not doing wrong there's just a lot of minds to step on and mob is not like the most emotionally resonant emotionally empathetic or perceptive person episode eight the older brother bows destructive intent these titles though <laughs> they're intense you doing here i'd ask you the same thing ritsu yeah <laughs> what are you doing around the corpses of these middle school students and Disco Man is here too. A common enemy would change things. I'm responsible. All right, sort of leaning into it. Come on, you're just kidding, right? I mean, seriously? He's so trusting. So seriously. He just leads with his love for people. See, I finally obtained psychic powers. Uh, Ritsu doesn't seem all that embarrassed. Dimple? Whatever. How do all right, fair weather friends. Got the hang of it now. Look, if something's bothering you. There you go. There you go. That's the right attitude. That is not the right attitude. You did it! <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. So long. That's yeah, exactly. That's just who Mob is. He just leads with that goodness. And because you had them, I'd always admired you, brother. Really? You're making me blush. <laughs> but that was just a big misunderstanding. Oh. It was? Oh, that's not wholesome. I couldn't handle my inferiority complex and fear towards you. Alright, at least it's honest. More than anything, I was scared of you. I hadn't thought about that angle. I'd have no way to protect myself from your powers. Yeah, but there's a weakness there. You never worked hard in your life, so why? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get it. Now I don't have to be scared anymore. The delusion right. of admiration is gone. I've lost all interest in our relationship. So this buddy buddy act of ours ends now. Ritsu. Oh no. <laughs> That's all just a lie. I want you to face me! Mob. My sweet, beautiful mob. Part of what you said is true. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of truth in there. I have to help take care of you. That's e. That's a sensitive, sensitive route to take. I'm terribly sorry that my little brother hurt you. He lost his temper. Well, he's not taking him seriously. Please look past this and be friends with him. Oh, there's just so much here. <laughs> this is such a sticky one. Ritsu was being really honest about the fear, but I feel like more than that being a fear of Mob directly, as he said, it's more of a fear of his own weakness. It's just that Mob is a reminder of that. And, you know, I understand. It's a common thing. You want to become the things that scare you. I'm going to start being more open about this, I guess, as I start healing and time goes on. But for a while, I've been involved in someone who is sort of in a dark world, largely associated with gangsters and a lot of seediness. And because the money is really good, she leaned into it and it destroyed our relationship. And so the way my mind rationalizes it or conceptualizes it is that I lost to Korean gangsters. There are Korean gangsters who defeated me in what I want and something that was really valuable to me. It's hard not to feel vengeful, but more than that and harder than that, darker than that, is that I envy them. That's a lot to process. I feel myself wanting to become them so that I never face that kind of obstacle because of a lack of power or money or whatever. And I've decided that I will do that. But I think the tricky thing for me is I gotta be careful to walk a line where I'm not becoming something that I regret. If I was stronger, if I didn't have emotional hangups or complexes, or things I feel I'm incapable of doing, or areas I feel like I'm not accomplished, I would immediately be able to conceptualize that as what it is. It's something I don't want. I'm not that person. But frustratingly, but I guess understandably, I find myself being jealous of her world, and I feel myself being pulled into it. But objectively, that's not the answer, right? The answer is not to become the things you hate because you've been threatened by them. You know, the more powerful answer is to become something way better 
and get what you want out of life. And a really crazy thing has emerged for me as a result of this, thinking about it. You know, there's this idea that like Kingdom Hearts is light, right? The people are good. And I believe that. And I like that idea. But what I never really thought about before is the danger that that contains. Like actually Kingdom Hearts is light and people are good is a terrible thing at first, because what it means is you can no longer write off people as just bad. You can no longer prop yourself up on anger or disgust or hatred because you understand. And understanding people at first makes you weak because you are always responsible then. You are always responsible for your feelings, your moods, your actions, your mistakes, and the other person is understandable and justified, at least to a certain degree, in what they do. And you're disarmed. You're disarmed by, like, casting aside the ability to judge people. And I know in my heart, even if I don't feel it fully right now, that that is a stronger path. Like Masaroshi said, the truth is only painful if you lead a life of lies. You know, there's a light at the, at the other side where it's just love. But at first, it's pain. It's just the pain of understanding that life is the way it is and people are the way they are. And that doesn't work out in your favor a lot of the time. So watching these episodes recently, I understand Ritsu. Like, he's not a bad person. He just has a lot of darkness in his heart right now. And it all comes from that central weakness, that insecurity. Security, a feeling of vulnerability, an unmet need. Those are the Achilles heels that bring you down, at least temporarily. Stop it. Why would you do that? Oh, he's free. What do you think you're doing? He doesn't have the complex about power. People who are powerful don't mind being vulnerable. But it's like, in a way, working against them. It's long-term great and pure and good. But in this moment, it's going to make Ritsu more frustrated. Not while I was here, I'd observe. What are you, an idiot? Hurry up and bring him here. So he's not the number one. Fine. Yeah, yeah. This guy seems kind of chill. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting a vibe. Seems like he's doing his job. Confirms the what is what is going on? What a completely exaggerated name. Oh, we got ourselves a sword esper. The more information we leak, the more annoying. Oh no, it's them. No fooling around. I got it. I got it. <laughs> the tables have turned. How the, the audacity of these guys to be laughing after they just got their asses kicked like this? I mean, that's not gonna happen. Mom's not gonna let them hurt no more anyone. Hurting people. Yeah. There's been enough violence. <laughs> right. Now, just who in the hell do you think you are, small fry? Didn't they learn their lesson? And the strongest will rule. That's the way of the world. Okay, Attack on Titan. You're exactly right. <laughs> let go. <laughs> This ended up being really complicated. I thought it was going to be two sides, it's four. You guys figure that if you're strong at fighting, you can rule your school in turfs, right? <laughs> Every now and then I, I reflect on the fact that they're middle school students and it just makes it all the more hilarious. To give these low-life lackey middle school thugs credit, they're doing a lot at 12, <laughs> you know? They're living lives, for sure. At 12, I was, you know, mostly playing Pokemon. Wait, I got a bad feeling. <laughs> I got a bad feeling in my face. It's not fair. <laughs> you thugs are such simple creatures. Live by the sword, you die by the sword. You live by attack and titan rules, you die by attack and titan rules. My little Whoa. Brother. Now Mob has been established to be like just the most above and beyond powerful, but who knows about the villains? All of you should grovel. Get on your knees. <laughs> He's taking like a personal interest in this. Oh, do you need a little like in the philosophy of the if you don't grovel, counter. I'll kill you, little punks. He's pissed off, in a sense, on behalf of the brothers. Look at all you pathetic dipshits. Let this <laughs> who think they're badasses. See you in a weird way, that ended up being like a great and wholesome and non, well, not that violent lesson. He like allowed them to reap what they sowed, but then let them let them off. Guess we're gonna find out about power levels pretty fast. The model also just exposed himself. Speaking of a common enemy, and Mops might save him again. Reach the once again the weak one. I'm not supposed to use these powers against others, but this is different. This is sort of defense, yeah. You don't have to kill him. I remember now. From before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Luckily, there he also happens to be Jack. Someone else is in the body like improvement club. He's got named attacks. I don't want to grow up and become this guy. <laughs> What a thing to say, mid-fight. You're gonna protect your little brother, right? Oh, uh, well, actually, he's powerful. They have comparable levels. But Mob's definitely holding back on some level. He has his conundrums about fighting. Alone. Just take me! That's what you wanted, right? Aw. It's not even with his powers, just with his love. Think I'll take this opportunity to wipe it off! Yeah, I, I feel like we're hitting 100 today. <laughs> Here we go. We did it. Oh, get ready, everyone. What? 
<laughs> Alright, well, still undefeated at least. It's tough because with every fight, Mob just gets more and more on the radar. He becomes more of a target. You did this to yourself. But he has a different level of mastery over this 100% thing now, it seems. He's conscious, as he said. Telekinetic Helix! What? Did nothing. Nothing! You know, I think we've determined the, <laughs> the relative power levels. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> more than just espers are gonna start taking note of this. You're kidding! Energy bomb. Got sucker punched. Oh, oh, there's uh, Dimple over. lurking in the shadows from safety. These it fights are just so strong. cool. The esper thing just opens up so many awesome doors. He's not white tea poison's older white brother. White tea poison. He is white tea. In Salt Middle School. <laughs> white tea poison. Accidental. Shadow leader. Damn it! This barrier is so powerful. My <laughs> I like him. In this moment, he can have the emotional space, mental space to complement his barrier. Oh, and also chloroform him. You're coming with me. He left and he didn't kill us. And that's how Mob consolidated power at the various middle schools. It's still dangerous to be near him. You're from this guy did nothing to watch. School. I can't believe someone was able to push him over the edge like that. That's no ordinary guy. Yeah, he's the most powerful person we've seen besides Mob. This is rock salt from the Himalayas. It goes great with pasta and meat. Or in people's eyes as an attack. It's so crazy what Reese is going through, like, all, with all the turbulent emotions. In the height of that, in the height of actually feeling powerful again, he got absolutely demolished. Mob came to rescue him again, or at least tried to, which is going to increase his love for Mob, but also maybe simultaneously his resentment, depending on how this turns out. He needs to feel like he has what he needs, or he needs to see something of much greater value that makes his current weakness bearable until he can be not weak. Those are the only two ways I can see out of that. It'll also come in handy for our needs in the exorcism. Your right. shoulders feel heavy, right? Yes, a fortune teller said there was something dense weighing down on them. That's just called life. It's called life weighs you down sometimes. Eventually they'll grow agitated and leave. Phase two. I mean, he did use a very liberal amount of that Himalayan salt. To loosen up your tense <laughs> it, all, it all comes back to massages in the end. It's all a massage. At least this way he's actually helping people. He's lying, but... Oh, oh my... Yeah, he's gonna be... Great at massages, isn't he? With all the massages he gives his clients. I mean, whatever gets the job done. I feel like there's a way out for this con business by opening a massage parlor. I'll be there to listen anytime. She gave that sounds like a plea more than an offer to help. You sure everything's okay? If you're not feeling right, I'm here to listen. Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm fine, Ritsu. Thanks for asking, though. Ritsu wants that. He wants to feel valuable. They've been trying to follow me around for a few years now. This could be a great alliance. It's an organization called CLAW, formed Claw. by dangerous espers. They want a revolution and aim to turn the world on its head. Here it is. World stakes. Apparently, they take child espers who have yet to mature. So there's potentially a whole raise them as army of them. So much potential in this already. So the information must have leaked from there. Maybe we should check it out. But I have a bad feeling about this. I kind of like this pairing. It looks like they're unconscious. That's good. Not dead. That's good. That's a huge relief. Did you sell Ritsu Kageyama's personal So he just knocked him out unconscious fall? with a sword? Oh, what's that? Ritsu Kageyama. He was posing as him, yeah. Where are the other kids? They were kidnapped. Made into soldiers, probably. Alright, so what level of power did the kids who were kidnapped have? They could light matches, and they could guess cards correctly. This world has got a lot more dangerous. The villains have exposed themselves. Quit dawdling. Keep moving. They all went into that one trunk? I'm so curious about where this is going for Ritsu. Because these kids are being walking and being turned into soldiers. Child soldiers. That might be the end of his conscious arc for a while. Or maybe this is actually a great opportunity for him to prove to himself he's not weak. Is he going to wait for Mom to rescue him? Or is he actually going to find a way to fight back? As difficult as that might be. So this was a really great episode. I mean, just first of all, the conflict and tension between Ritsu and Mob. But then on top of that, and sort of interrupting that, the introduction, real introduction of this powerful villain figure who ends up just being a henchman. And I guess more significantly, this whole organization and world stakes and a lot of potential interesting enemies and a mission for Mob that's not just learning how to be a good boy, the best boy. <laughs>